Hey everyone, I'm Ali Sutton Heathcote and I'm so glad you took the time to watch this video. It's really thanks to you that I'm able to do this. And I wanna start off before we get to these fragrances by genuinely taking a moment to thank you because without you all, this would not be possible. I've loved fragrance for years and went out on a whim and started making content about it and sharing it. And you guys have been so incredibly supportive and loving and kind. And without you showing me that support, brands would never ever do this. So it's thanks to you that I get to do this and it just means more than I can say. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Today, we are going to be going through the Maison Margiela replica memory box. Now you can get this online for a really great price from their website. It is a set of 10 of their fragrances that you can try in a really nice sample size. It's a great way to explore their different fragrances and have some little ones that actually I've had these before last a while that are easy to throw into a purse, a car, a suitcase and take with you and they're small and portable. I am thrilled. Now I only have one full size replica fragrance. I'll tell you guys which one it is and I'm looking to get a Another. So let's get in here and see what we like. If you don't know with Replica, all of the fragrances are named and try to capture the essence of time and place. First one is Jazz Club. I have only smelled dupes of this. I have been tempted to buy this one before. I've never had a sample. So let's just see here. Oh my word. Wow, gosh, this is this is incredible. This is sexy. There's just no no two ways about it. The notes are pink pepper essence, rum absolute, vanilla beans, and tobacco leaf absolute. Does ring to mind sexy night out, a dark, atmospheric, smoky, hazy place with like nice cocktails around and people wearing nice fragrance. Perfectly unisex because that it's going to be different based on who's wearing it. And there's enough sweetness in there where I think it would lean sweeter on me but if you wanted something more masculine I'm sure your chemistry would work to pull out more of that maybe like tobacco scent it is absolutely gorgeous next up we have lazy Sunday morning I didn't show you guys what the samples look like and they're pretty durable because I've had one before and carried it around and it was totally fine this is a fresh and floral and all these are an EDT or an eau de toilette inspired by the soft sensation of fresh linen on a sunny morning in the summer Whoa, this is powerful. Okay, before I read, read the notes, I just wanted to see, and I thought it would be more linen-y, clean, soapy, but this is hitting me as way more floral, but it still is clean, bright florals. Let's see, the top notes are paracord, lily of the valley, aldehydes. The middle notes are iris, rose absolute, and orange flower, and then the base notes are Indonesian patchouli oil, ambret seeds, and white musks. So anytime I see musks in the base, I know it's going to be a really transformative kind of fragrance because musks are as, as the skin scents. This would probably really evolve depending on who's wearing it. Really bright, traditional, clean floral. Next up, we have Under the Lemon Trees. Now this is inspired by taking a nap in the shade of a lemon tree, smelling green leaves and the sun and fresh air. And of course, the bright zingy citrus. Top notes are Calamansi Lime Accord, Petite Grain Essence, Cardamom Essence. The middle notes are Coriander Essence, Mate absolute green tea extract and then the base notes are cedarwood citrus absolute and musks so everything i'm seeing here i'm loving oh my word oh my word this is gorgeous bright and crisp it's making my mouth water. They nailed it. Cutting crispness, slight sweetness of lemon. Right off the top, you can smell these greens. It's sparkling. Sparkling, it's fizzy, it's bright, it's effervescent, it's clean. This is amazing. Next up, we have by the Fireplace. Now, this is the one that I have a full size of. Somebody gave me a sample of by the Fireplace. I put it on and I was just blown away. I personally loved it. Let me say this. I know that this is a polarizing fragrance. People seem to either love it or hate it. I know that it smells different on everybody. That's why some people seem to not like it. I love it. This is a warm and spicy EDT. The top notes are pink pepper, orange flower, and clove oil. The middle chestnut accord, guyac wood oil, and cade oil. And then the base notes are vanilla, peru balsam, and cashmere. In. And it feels like you are sitting by the coziest fire with a gorgeous perfume on, nice warm blanket, a tea to drink, curled up. I love it. They have captured a bonfire-y kind of scent that I know is polarizing in this that I personally love. To me, it doesn't smell like 
burning as much as it smells like maybe like a toasted marshmallow. And I don't want you to think that that makes it too sweet, but it's like, you know, that when you burn the part of the marshmallow, how a little bit crisp, but also a little sweet. I have found that this has really good staying power. I always get compliments on this to me, on me. This wears smoky sweet, but never gets sickly. So if you're looking for a signature winter scent, this is definitely something I reach for a lot in the winter. Bubble bath is next up. I've smelled this. I love this. It's supposed to bring to mind the feeling of sitting in a bath, hot and warm. Maybe you can smell your skin a little, some bath oil, the bubbles rising up. Maybe there's like a glass of champagne and some flowers on your bath tray. The notes are soap bubble accord, pink pepper essence, bergamot essence. The middle notes are lavender flower accord, rose, and then jasmine. And the base notes are patchouli, coconut milk, and white musks. I, I love bubble bath. Like to me, this smells, this brings me back to like a very specific memory of what bath salts were like in the hotel we stayed at in Paris and like taking a bath, looking at the Eiffel Tower, soapy cleanliness without being astringent. Flowers beside you, the florals are definitely there, kind of creamy and skin-like. They nailed it. I imagine this being more of like a fresh girly day wear. Next up, we have autumn vibes. And you guys know that I am an autumn girl through and through. I don't care how basic that is. I love the feel of autumn. And this is supposed to take you back to an autumnal forest in Montreal and the feeling of crisp leaves and fresh air and woods around you. I've never smelled autumn vibes. It's supposed to be woody and spicy. The top notes are pink pepper CO2 essence, cardamom essence. The middle notes are carrot seeds, nutmeg, and olibanum essence. The base notes are cedarwood heart, moss accord, and fir balsam. Awesome. Ooh, wow. I have a feeling this would wear too masculine on me. My personal taste, wear whatever you want, wear whatever you like. This comes across really woody and resinous and earthy. And to me, that olfactive family just leans a little too masculine. Spice is really nice and warm. It's very, this is really sexy. Opening up and that nutmeg is getting like a little sweeter spicy. It's really nice. It's just probably not for me. Next up, we have Sailing Day, and Sailing Day is supposed to be a fresh and clean EDT that brings to mind the feeling of being on a sailboat and smelling the salt of the water, having the warm breeze, the sun on your skin, maybe a little kind of like suntan lotion. Summery, bright, fresh, crisp, and organic. Let's see. Hmm. Wow. Okay. This is super understated and subtle. It is so fresh and light and there's something a little green and crisp in there. Let's see what the notes are. We've got an aquatic accord, which I always love aquatic accords, especially now that we're coming into summer. You want something that wears light on your skin when you're hot. In the middle, we've got coriander. So zesty, green, a little spicy, fresh. And then raw seaweed is one of the notes. Woody, fresh, and marine. Yeah, I'm, I am loving this. Effortless, chic, New England summer. When the rain stops, sounds like it would be a fragrance that I absolutely love. It's inspired by Dublin in the 60s, and it's supposed to give you the feeling and smell and essence of that moment after there's been a really heavy rainstorm, and maybe you've been stuck inside, and then poke your head outside, and you can smell how the earth has been affected by the rain, some of that crisp clean freshness and green and nature and damp grass and the sun coming out, water dripping through the trees. It's very, it's a very romantic notion, isn't it? The top notes are bergamot oil, vegetal accord, pink pepper essence. And in the middle, we've got an aquatic accord, which makes sense, right? With the rain, we're smelling that smell of rain. It's just like a fresh and an organic. And then a rose petal essence, a jasmine, Grandiflorum super infusion. And then the base notes, we have pine needle oil, which I love the idea of rain on pine. Oof, patchouli, Bali essence, and moss accord. Wow, okay. This opens pretty masculine. It's very clean. It is extremely clean. It's very fresh, really beautiful. I feel like I'm already getting that patchouli and pine and moss right at the get-go. I think these are all married together really well. Very grounded and earthy and like spicy. That pink pepper is really like poppy and sexy at the top. Watery, fresh, earthy, really very sexy. 
I've heard a lot about this next scent, Beach Walk. Now this is a fresh EDT. It's supposed to bring up the memory of walking along a sandy beach with bright sun, waves crashing, sand, warm skin. Top notes are bergamot essence, pink pepper, just like last time, and lemon essence. So citrusy and spicy at the open. Top notes we have Lang Lang, Transluzone, Heliotropicord, and Coconut Milk Accord. And then the base note we have Cedarwood Essence, Benzoin Resonol, and White Musks. And I love White Musks. Powdery, clean, soft. So let's see. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is gorgeous. The citrus at the top is so delicate and light, and clean, tiny little current of like spiciness to it that almost reminds me of like feeling good and confident in the summer, like a little warm sexiness. Then these florals and coconut in the middle are just like smelling like the most beautiful suntan lotion. This is so nostalgic. This reminds me of being at the beach when I was little and my parents putting no ad sunscreen on me. And oh, this is so beautiful and soft and delicate and slightly sweet but crisp and clean too. Oh, I love this so much. Next up, we have springtime in a park. Now it's spring now, and I personally always love spring. I get a little bit down in the winter and when things start to bloom again, I'm smelling everything that's blooming and the air is fragrant and starting to get warm. It makes me really happy. All the world feels beautiful again. This was inspired by walking through a park in the spring in Shanghai. The top notes are paracord, bergamot essence, and blackcurrant accord. The middle notes are Lily of the Valley, Jasmine Absolute, and Rose. And the base notes are Musks, Vanilla Accord, and Ambrox. This is truly going to smell different on everybody. Let's just see about this. <gasps> whoa, whoa, this is totally different than I thought it would be. Ooh, okay. This is, this is beautiful. This is delicious. This is elegant and feminine and refined. Right off the top, that fruitiness is just like hypnotizing. It's really organically sweet. A little, I, I, like with pear, you know how it's sweet, but there's the bitterness of the skin. So it's really well balanced. That's what I get right at the top. But then those florals, as I warm it, the florals start to come through and they're like very nice and light and they're clean. And I think that, oh, this is gorgeous. This is, this is beautiful. Wow, if I smelled this out in the wilderness, I'd really stop somebody and see what they were wearing. That is gorgeous. I do not know what I'm going to pick. To me, this springtime in the park really stands out under the lemon trees was really something else. Beach walk, sailing day, jazz club. Am I gonna pick? You guys help me. If you've worn these fragrances, let me know which are best, which wear great. I'm gonna have such a hard time picking, but I promise when I get the next full size, there'll be a full review and I'll have you to thank for it. I love you all so much and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.